Welcome back, and today we have a special edition preview of the Louisville Cardinals versus Indiana Hoosers college football game. It's a week three game, and I'm your host, Jeffrey, from Only Talk Sports, and I also have my co-host next to me, Austin Williams of Sports Talk with Austin, and we cannot wait to break down this game. What are your first thoughts about this, Austin? Now, time for the big reveal. Our final score, predictions, and final thoughts – and all that. So, without further ado, we'll start with mine. No shock here. I predict 30-17. We, we're, we're, going, we're leaving Indy with a dub, and we're going back home to play BC unbeaten. Now, Jeffrey, go ahead and reveal yours, and then we will both explain why we believe that our teams or who knows maybe why you think Louisville will win. Take it away. Now, I mean, to your score prediction, it makes sense. I do feel like that Louisville has a good chance to win by this much. They're favored by 10, so a 13-point win would not be crazy. Again, they have a little bit more talent all around, even though the talent gap is close. But for me, I'm going with Indiana to beat Louisville 28-24. This is not a homer pick. I legitimately believe Indiana has a shot here. It's in Indianapolis. It is a neutral site. But I do feel like the crowd will be about 50-50. Maybe it leans a bit more Indiana because they're closer. There is a lot of Indiana alumni in Indianapolis that I think will show out for this game. And I think that's going to help out the Hoosers. Louisville's going to have to travel a bit further. Not too significant, but still makes a bit of a difference. And I think that Indiana – his defense is going to play really hard in this game. They're going to force Plummer into a couple mistakes that might be really costly. Lucas is going to be an X factor. I feel like he's going to have a lot of massive plays. And the kick return game, the punt return game, maybe catch some balls in the backfield and go, I think that's going to make a difference. And as long as Taven Jackson does not throw more than one pick, even if he throws one, I think they can still win, but they can't have any more turnovers than that. As long as he throws for about 250 yards, maybe a couple touchdowns, one pick, and then Lucas has a lot on the ground. Indiana's got a lot of good running backs. They've got three running backs that are solid. Christian Turner and Josh Henderson are solid as well. I think Indiana has enough here to possibly spring an upset because they are a 10-point underdog and win 28-24. to Now, before you know, I give my take on mine real fast, Your, yours is not too bad. I mean, obviously, obviously me being a Louisville fan – Obviously, if this was basketball, I would have a little more competitive about it because at basketball, you always want to beat Indiana because they're the pride and joy of their state. But football, if y'all beat us, I won't be too mad, especially it being you, Jeffrey. I, I, I'll i let you have it. But I, this is not a bad score. I could see it going this way, especially, you know, you know, Georgia Tech did the same thing, a lot of screen passes, you know, running the ball, setting it up. If Indiana can replicate some of that formula, they could definitely spring an upset. But as far as how I see this thing going, I got us winning by 13 points, two scores. I think Juwan Jordan is going to have a big day. I think Indiana is going to be hard-pressed to stop the run. We're going to be shifting out backs. We've got three different backs that can play, all different styles and formats. You know, we've got Juwan, who's power. We've got... You know, we've got McKenzie, who's who's more the speed of the group. We've got all different kinds that could kind of give Indiana different looks. And and if Indiana starts stacking that box, Jamari Thrash is going to have a field day. And I think that's where the problems are going to start because they're going to be like, okay, we see what you want to do, Rom. You're just trying to get him comfy and get him going. We're, and Tom Allen's like, let me go ahead and stack this box. And then Jeff Brom's like, thank you. Now I can throw the Thrash one-on-one with this freshman safety over here who has no clue what he's doing. And then it's 65 yards going the other way. And I feel like our defense is going to be able to create a couple takeaways. And I think, you know, I think it's going to be something like 23 to 10, you know, like five minutes to go. And then Indiana gets like a, a score. And then all of a sudden Indiana has a little hope. And then Jamal Thrash says, let me take care of that and takes it to the house on like a kick return. But I, I think overall this should be a fun game. You know, hopefully it's competitive. You know, I don't want to see a 45-0 to zero skunking either way. 
I would like for it to be somewhat of a game. But, Jeffrey, any final thoughts and takeaways as we get ready for this once-in-a-blue-moon matchup that we rarely get in football? I think it's going to be a great game. And like you said, once-in-a-blue-moon matchup makes it a lot cooler because you don't usually see this type of game. Indiana Louisville has not played since the 80s. And obviously, it has been an announcement that Indiana Louisville are not going to play in 2024 and 2025. So we got to take advantage of it while we have it. I hope it's a close game. I think it's going to be a close game. And obviously, Louisville could very well win. And if they do, like you said, no hard feelings at all. It's no big deal for me. I'd be very happy for you and Louisville if they were able to win. Definitely could see it happening. But I think Indiana's got a great chance as well. Both teams very similar in talent level. It's going to be a great atmosphere. And Lucas Soil Stadium in Indianapolis, great neutral site venue for both of these teams. And I think it's going to be one of the best games of week three in college football. I think it's going to be that good of a game. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about me and Austin's pick for the Louisville versus Indiana college football game and who you think will ultimately win this game at the end of the day. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description. And I will see you next time.